The day I circumcised, they said I should open my leg, and I did what they said. My mother told me this is my passage to womanhood. He said, if you refuse to lie down, we will force you to lie down. So my dad brings some rope and tight me and hold me very strong. I could feel the blade cutting. With every cut, I was struggling. I was shouting because the pain was too much. I was shouting because the pain was I really thought I was going to die. They say it's tradition. Which type of tradition? <laughs> Frontline organizations are the most effective at fighting FGM but less than 2% of funding goes to us. There's a huge anger in the activist community fighting FGM because the millions, and there is millions that is being spent on FGM, it's not reaching them. As local people who have actually gone through the practice, who know what it means as victims, I think we have the sole power and authority to make the difference. The little amount we have been given to so smaller and local organizations, you see we've made a big difference. So it's high time for us to shift power. Let's bring it down to the local organization so they can impact their own community. We have to make little money go a long way. For example, last Christmas, we tried to stop the mass cutting in Kenya, but there is a limit to what we can do with only $10,000 trying to save girls across vast areas of difficult terrain. My community where FGM is happening, it is like a cut-off area. I am one of the individuals who is always in the villages, in the remote villages. I am always on motorbikes, I'm always walking. You know, the people with the with the power or with the resources, they do not want to take part in such a very challenging campaigns. So that leaves us, me, without the power, without the money, without the resources. Yesterday I was at the police station and girls were being offloaded from a lorry. Eleven girls walking with fresh wounds. Their wounds with very dirty and there's nothing I can do to them. My heart is broken. For the first time, I feel like I just want to give up, you know. In this area, during the Christmas holidays, at least 544 girls were mutilated. But frontline and FGM organizations managed to save 1,611 girls. Our strategy for ending FGM is clear and simple. Many people respect religious leaders, and I know for sure if religious leaders can stand up with us, this thing will be a history. With this in mind, first we bring the top influencers together, including religious, community leaders, journalists and politicians. When people see, they believe. When they hear, they believe. Frontline ending FGM has grown over 10 years to a consortium of over 1,000 local activists and organizations working in 15 countries. In our latest impact survey in Tana River, Kenya, after three years of intense media campaigns costing just $30,000, 84% of people surveyed said they had changed their minds about the worst type of FGM. To date, we have run 1,062 media campaigns bringing FGM out of the shadows and into the spotlight. Bonsoir, chers auditrices, auditeurs. Aujourd'hui, le thème, c'est la mutilation génitale féminine. Ma grande soeur a été infubilée. Elle a failli perdre la vie lors de son premier rapport sexuel. D'ailleurs, elle a décidé de ne plus se remarier, de ne plus faire des rapports sexuels.
With UNFP, we are also developing international campaigns like Burn Perfect with top class footballers. My name is Efe Ambrose. These are my daughters, Emanuela and Angela Ambrose. They are Burn Perfect. We say no to, to FGM. As part of a radical new strategy for UNFPA, Wireless Global Fund and GMC, we are developing a frontline feminist directory. This means that for the first time, donors will be able to find and directly fund local organizations. This map will not only be interactive, but it will show what works to end FGM and other forms of gender-based violence in individual communities. What's more, the map is linked with a specially designed app to help frontline feminist organizations find and support each other. I'm sure if we use the media we post this, there will be a massive awareness and change will come. So many children will be saved from this demonic practice because I see it as demonic. Yeah. Our impact measurement studies show that a girl could be protected from FGM for as little as half a dollar. Wallace Global Fund has been working on FGM for 40 years now, and we now know what is needed. We need to drive resources at scale to frontline activists and organizations. They know what needs to be done, and they have far too little funding now, and it is time to go big or go home and get them the resources they need. Oh, oh, oh.